is Donovan Terranova, and I am the location manager. What does a location manager do? That's the question, right? Yes, sir. Um, the simple answer to that is anything that we don't shoot on our stage or on our back lot then must be found on location. So once we decide what it is we need to shoot on location, uh, my job and my team's job is then to present viable options. Once the locations are picked, we then have to permit them, bring in police, uh, fire, security, trash, porta potties. Basically, it's a lot like um, producing an event. If we know we're going to shoot at, let's say, a hospital that we've already shot at, but it's not a full day, we'll say, you know, we need to fill out that day with some driving scenes. Uh, near that hospital. So then we would just go out and find the streets that are appropriate for the scene that are nearby the hospital. Uh, a lot of times we know the neighborhoods that fit the look of our show. So a lot of times if we're just looking for a certain kind of house, we will go to a specific neighborhood and canvas the neighborhood, in some cases street by street, just looking for the right look. Sometimes it's as simple as knocking on the door and saying, hi, we're Sons of Anarchy. Can we blow up your house today? And more times than not, people are very excited to have us come in and, and do that. We do have quite a good reputation around town and the show is very popular and people, a lot of times, you mentioned just the very fact that we're working on Sons of Anarchy and they get very excited. They want to roll out the red carpet. I've worked on other shows where it's you say the name of the show, it, it might set you back a few, a few steps. <laughs> Sons of Anarchy, I actually wanted to get on the show after I saw the first episode uh, air, and uh, it, it instantly struck a chord with me, and uh, I started networking, trying to figure out if I could get on the show. Uh, the spot for me really didn't open up until this season, and uh, the second it did open up, I, I jumped at it and uh, interviewed and got, got the job. And I could not be more excited for that. Because again, it's one of the only shows I've ever really angled to try to get on because I'm such a fan of the show. Um, I can honestly say that as a location manager, I take a lot of pride in shooting, shooting locations that have perhaps never been shot before, um, which means sometimes going to cities or areas that are maybe uh, maybe not film friendly from a permitting standpoint, that some cities just don't have the, uh, the capabilities to operate on our timetable. So on this show, this season, we went to a city that historically is extremely difficult to film in, and... Um, I called up the police department and had a very good talk with one of their captains. And again, they're fans of the show and they were cutting a lot of red tape for us. And we were able to film in a city that really doesn't get hardly any filming. And the look was really cool. It really fit. I don't want to, obviously I can't spoil, I'm being kind of vague about it on purpose, but it really looked uh, like the outskirts of Oakland. So. I was very proud of that location just for the fact that I don't think anybody in modern television history has filmed at that location. A lot of times we just have to find locations that are nearby our stage and our back lot uh, because maybe the scene isn't enough to take up the entire day. Um, one scene, one location that we shot uh, this season on episode two with the meeting between Clay and Romeo was shot over here at this, um, basically it's a automobile junkyard, a sprawling property with piles of junk cars and whatnot. And this is only five minutes from our stage. We have a Niner bar that we shot behind that bar, just around behind the building next door was a clandestine meeting location. So we start our day at the bar, finish our action inside the bar, push the equipment around the corner, literally around the corner, 
to an area that looks like it could be completely across town for another part that happens later in the script. Um, again, logistics as it relates to our stage is a huge part in deciding a lot of times where our, lo where our locations are actually going to be. Within, if you were to do a five mile radius around our stage, you have anything from the country road look to this kind of heavy industrial look to residential. And within that residential, it's a whole bevy of choices between, you know, really upscale ranch houses to uh, pretty depressed neighborhoods. Um, you know, you have streets, highways, all of that stuff, like a stone's throw from our stage. So a lot of times it could just be, hey, we need a place to kill somebody that, you know, not too many people would would see. You know, it's a lot of times we just use a very realistic approach. Like if you had to kill somebody, would you do it right here? It's like, no, you've got this guy selling fruits. You know, you've got parking lot full of people it's like there's way too many potential witnesses so we'll drive around and we'll look for a little nook or cranny within this big mess of industrialism and we'll find a really cool spot so season three we actually built this facade which is our belfast alleyway um shot a lot kind of at night which kind of helped obscure the fact that we're actually just two blocks from our stage um, again the genius of our show a lot of times is our ability to work closely to home I think in season three they were there probably ten different times using that set and when you're watching it at home, it's, you're in Belfast. You know, we went to Ireland is, is what certainly is conveyed. And I mean, they did go to Ireland, but that was a very small unit that went out there. And it was really just, I think a lot of the driving shots, a lot of stuff that obviously had to be Ireland, but there was a lot of things that we built right in our own neighborhood. Here we are, we're pulling right into our stage. That took less than, a minute to get from a set that looks like Ireland to now we're pulling into our, our set, our offices, our stages. So it's a, it's a, it's a well-oiled machine here. It's very efficient and we get a lot of great looks in a very short amount of time. A lot of great looks uh, all throughout the course of a day. A lot of great looks. <laughs>